Hey there, welcome back to SimTech channel. This is a second tutorial on overhead line parameters calculation. More specifically, we'll be focusing on how to calculate the inductance per phase of a three-phase transpose transmission line with flat regular spacing. So if you are studying electrical power system or you are working on transmission line design, these calculations is very essential for you. So let's break it down step by step. Great, so first thing first, you need to understand the problem statement. So what is our scenario? So the scenario is very simple. We have a three phase transmission line that is 50 kilometer long with conductors that are 25 millimeters in diameter. Then we also know that the conductors are suspended in horizontal plane with one meter spacing. So what does all of this mean? Before you can actually start solving the problem, you need to visualize your problem statement. Now transpositions of the transmission line cable here is basically what you see here. So we basically changing periodically the positions of each one of the, the lines. So the red line, the yellow or the blue line, they're going to be swapping position. Now this is done to reduce what is known as cross talk. Otherwise it is to improve the transmission line efficiency. Now just as we solve the resistance of the line, by calculating the resistance per kilometer, the inductance is also calculated per kilometer given with a general formula that is given by L is equal to 0 0.05 plus 0 0.2 times ln the natural logarithm of DE divided by R. So the answer will be in milli Henry per kilometer, right? So now if you've got 50 kilometer, then you know whatever answer you get here you must multiply it by 50 so that you can get the inductance of your transmission line based on the distance where your transmission line is running but now we've got a few parameters here that we need to make sense of before we can actually calculate uh, these inductance. So the first parameter here is DE. Now DE is related to the conductors that are suspended in a horizontal plane with one meter spacing. Right so now, if DE is equal to the cubic root of 2D, that basically means your conductors here, like in our cases, they are basically equally spaced. Now, if you have a situation where these conductors are actually not equally spaced, right? So if they are not equally spaced, right? So which means the distance here is not equal to the distance here. In that case, you're going to have DE must be equal to the cubic root of A times B times C, right? That will be your DE in this case. But if they are equally spaced, that basically means you've got D here, that's a, the diameter, I mean the distance, and you've got another distance here, then the distance from this point to this point will be equal to this distance times 2. That is why we've got D is equal to the cubic root of 2D in a case where they are equally spaced. Right now, having said that, we can now go ahead and calculate DE. In this case, it's going to be equal to the cubic root of 2 times 1 because our D here is equal to 1 meter spacing. Then we're going to get the DE of 1.26 meter. Right. Now, the next parameter here in our formula is the radius. Now, this is related to the diameter of the cable or conductor. So we can just go ahead and calculate our radius, which is the diameter divided by 2. Then we've got 25 millimeter divided by 2, and we find a radius of 0 0.0125 meter. Right. So we have to convert the millimeter to meter for the SI unit, just as we have DE here in meter. Great. Now, before we complete this calculation, if you find this tutorial useful so far, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to SimTech channel so that you don't miss more tutorial of this nature. Now, it is also important for us to know the meaning of this calculation. Why do we have to actually understand? Uh, why do we actually need to calculate the inductance of the transmission line here? Now, the answer is very simple. As I've said earlier, this is crucial for the design and operation of the transmission system as inductance basically directly affects several key factors uh, in power delivery right now these uh, key factors just like with the resistor the inductance can also uh, affect the voltage drop 
power losses and more importantly impedance matching right impedance matching in transmission line is is definitely important proper impedance matching is important for power system stability and that will ensure that uh, we avoid excessive voltage drop or voltage surges in the power lines and a few other reasons are power flow control voltage regulations and system stability as i've said earlier so that is why it is very important to know your line your overhead line parameters right now let's continue our calculation here so after you've calculated your radius all you have to do next here is to basically replace your calculated de and your calculated r into your main formula for your inductors parameter that will basically give you the following equation here where you can calculate your inductance per kilometer right so this give us a value of an inductor of 0 0.973 milli and repair kilometers right so now based on what's given to us here one meter spacing between a b and c and a 25 millimeter conductors diameter we now found an inductor of l is equal to 0 0.973 milli and repair kilometer now this basically tells us that if you're going to have this kind of configuration structures, that's the inductors that you have. So now if your line is now going to run for 50 kilometers, all you have to do is to basically multiply the calculated inductors times 50 kilometers, right? So that would basically be L is equal to 0 0.973 times 50 divided by kilometer milli henry per kilometer now these will basically cancel the kilometers here and you're gonna have a final inductance value of 48.63 milli henry for these line parameters here now imagine you are a power system transmission line designer and you've been given these uh, specification for the line and you've calculated your inductance per kilometer to be 0 0.973 and for a 50 kilometer you are projecting to have an inductance on your line of 48.63 milli henry now you know that transmission lines sometimes they run for longer than these hundreds of kilometers so which basically means this inductance is bound to increase the longer you take your lines to now what are the implications of these inductance as we've already stated earlier some of the implications are harmonics distortions and power quality right so inductance they will contribute to harmonic distortion in your power system which will basically affect the quality of the electricity that you are basically uh, transmitting right now knowing these uh, value it will help in terms of improving the design so you can basically include some series capacitors the addition of series capacitors or shunt reactors will actually act as uh, compensating devices in your uh, transmission line to basically maintain the voltage stability so that is very important to take in note as power system designer thank you guys for watching i hope this tutorial was useful if you find it useful please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to SimTech channel for more tutorial of this nature. Next up, we're going to have a tutorial where we're going to see how to calculate the capacitance of a transmission line. Until next time, cheers.